doing like you know you look really beautiful tonight Sienna, and I'm glad we, we're getting to have this moment I just you know I really I really like you and so Julian's going in for the kill and he's given Miss Sienna her very first kiss you and I have been friends since we were kids we're always going to be in each other's lives Julian like I, I'm always going to love you and have love for you. Oh, I'm so in love with you and my feelings haven't really changed since we broke it up. So Zena's kind of like thrown off by this. She's like, Julian, like I never thought that you really felt this way. You know, I feel strongly about you, Sienna, and now that we're moving on from high school and we're entering our young adult years, I want us to have a second chance. I, I'm in love with you. Like, the truth is, when I woohooed with you on prom night, I wanted that to have been my first time, but it wasn't. I had woohoo with with Andre the night before, and the fact of the matter is, this child could be Andre's or it could be yours. I know that I've loved you like pretty much my entire life. You've always been the girl of my dreams, and at the end of the day, like I don't regret having my first time with you, although it kind of sucks that you lied to me about it being yours. Oh, really? Like congratulations so, on her being your girlfriend. He's like, yeah, but honestly, what I wanted to tell you is that, well, what the fudge? You and I have always had great chemistry with one another, and you know, the last time we talked about you and me, we kind of really weren't done. We were talking about the possibility of there being a part two. And Julian's like, I know that, Sienna, but there can't be a part two between you and I. With, with Julian, I, I sometimes wonder if maybe I would have went through with it if he had been the father and he had been the one to propose to me and ask me to marry him. But I guess I'll never know. <laughs> so Julian's like, yeah, I really am thinking about it. And I... You know, I really hope she says yes, and you know, you know, see, it's like, I hope she does too, honestly. If you ask, if you want my opinion on it, she's going to say yes. And he's like, well, how do you know? And Sina's like, it's because it's you, Jillian. Anybody would be foolish to say, say no to you. There's nobody who's ever really been there for me the way that you have. Like, you really are the love of my life too. Hey, like, Jillian, you know, what is it? Why are you looking at me like that? And he's like... That's nothing. I'm just kind of a little bit nervous right now. And she's like, nervous about what? He's like, well, Anna, I wanted to come kind of down one knee and ask you if you would marry me. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. Hi everyone, it's Ketchy, aka OB Gem. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button so I need to keep making content like this. So, we're back with another episode of Not So Fairy. And as you can probably already tell, we are finally doing the Rose Wedding. So, I know from this shot, it looks like we already did the wedding, but. Don't worry, we did not do the wedding yet. I just was taking some pre-wedding photos. I tend to like to get all of my wedding photo shots out ahead of the ceremony. The event hasn't actually started yet. We still have like an hour and a half before the actual wedding ceremony starts. So I decided to use that time to get a bunch of photos of Julia and Sienna for their home. I know it seems silly to even do that considering that Sienna is an elder and she doesn't really have that many days left, but I don't know, I do this for all my sims, so it's like I'm not going to not take wedding photos for her to have just because she's older and won't get to, you know, enjoy them for very long, but I still want them for myself and, you know, for her house for as long as she's alive and, you know, I might actually send some of these shots along with Sorry to have in his future home. I'll be taking some wedding party shots later with, you know, Sienna, Julian, and Zari, also with Robin and Candace and Kennedy, just so that, you know, there are a couple more shots that Zari can use for his home that will make a little bit more sense and not just be, you know, Julian and Sienna on his will, because that, I mean, it's his mom, but, you know, most people don't have pictures of their, you know, their mom's wedding with their, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Any case, um, we can go ahead and get out of tab mode. 
so we can get this party started. Um, like I mentioned last episode, we still do not have my wedding stuff. I am actually recording this like a couple hours after I already recorded uh, episode two. So clearly I don't, I did not buy my wedding stories um, in that time. So we are doing this a strict elite vanilla, which, you know, at this point is the only way to do it because the actual my wedding stories um, functionality is broken. So we're going to go ahead and get this party started. I'm going to get them out the pose and uh, we're going to go ahead and catch up with Zarine actually. So our baby boy Zarine is actually over here taking a power nap on this a little what is it like a bench <laughs> he's on that so let me actually zoom out so you guys can kind of see exactly how this wedding is going so they they you know they just arrived in sulani like maybe like an hour or two ago and they are having the wedding at this very cute ocean it's called i think it's called the ocean hotel that's what it's called <laughs> but um the actual this actual lot was made by praline sims however i did adjust it so that it would make sense for a wedding so as you can see this over here is where the wedding is going to take place if you were to kind of look on like i don't know that this is on the gallery i got it off the sims resource because praline sims has a bunch of lots on there that you can get the tray files for so if you get the tray files from the sims resource then it won't look like this the original lot actually had a pool in this area and it didn't have a dance floor or this dj booth when i put a karaoke machine over here that wasn't there either this whole area there was like a pool so i just deleted it and then i put this area for the wedding because i wanted something that was like you know a little bit looks a, a little bit of a luxe you know hotel wedding for Sienna and Solani, and I wasn't able to find exactly what I wanted. So what I did is I found, you know, I found a hotel that I wanted and just added the wedding aspects to it. So I built this stage out. I, I put this dance floor here and added the elements that I wanted. I actually spent a long time doing this, you guys. So, you know, don't touch me. I think it looks cute. So, I mean, don't be mean to me in the comments. So <laughs> anyway, but anyway, they just got here to this resort in like an hour or two ago. And our baby boy Zarin is a Thai yard. And if you guys remember from the end of last episode, baby Zarin here is not so much of a baby anymore. He spent the night with Arlene and the two of them got up to stuff. I.e. little Zari is not a little boy anymore. He is officially a man. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so he didn't get a lot of sleep because of that. So he's over here kind of catching up on some Z's. And... He actually needs to get up soon so he can like change into his wedding stuff. Okay, better exceptions. This is like the wrong time for this, but I'm going to get out of this and ignore that. But anyway, um, <laughs> we're going to hope that this wedding goes okay. Like uh, real talk, y'all, like that restaurant from last episode stressed me out. Everything in there was just like not working. And I don't even know why I took the chance to kind of see if it would work that time because I've totally do remember that that bed and breakfast was glitchy the last time we eat there too so that was clearly my fault but look at Zari he's over here thinking like about the day thinking I wonder how the wedding's gonna go I wonder if Arlene still wants me to be her you know escort and he's like really thinking about it and he's all like I wonder what Arlene and I even are right now because like I mentioned last episode Zari is the type of guy who you know he is family oriented he wants to have like a real family and committed relationship all of that so after what happened between him and arlene yesterday he's thinking you know maybe what we have going is something that could lead to something and if it is then i kind of want to like lock it down and you know let arlene know that i want to be her guy so <laughs> look at him thinking about her <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and let Zarine get ready. I think I already set uh, the club gathering for the extended family to show up early. See, Anna, girlfriend, you are supposed to be in your wedding dress right now. Why are you swimming? It's okay. You know, she, she's not supposed to be doing this, but we'll get her all the way together before the event. Don't you worry. But we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Yes, let's start this wedding. So we got the notification that the wedding event has started which is good because 
Messina just got up from that pool area. Like, I don't know why she would get out of her wedding dress and get herself all messed up, smudging up all her makeup to swim in the pool, but we're going to ignore that. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and start the event. So I'm giving it a little bit for the guests to show up because, you know, Sina wanted to keep it a little bit low key for this wedding. There was like over 50 people at that wedding that never happened when she left Andre at the aisle. She's like, I don't want something quite that big since I'm having a destination wedding. So this time I'm just going to invite like 46 people. So, you know, that's smaller to Sienna. But as she's waiting for the guests to assemble, she who should she come across but... Her old college roommate, Natalie Wyatt. She's like, Natalie, what are you? Like, look at you. And she's like, Sienna, oh my gosh. I can't believe that you actually did decide to get married. Like, all of us kind of thought that she that just wouldn't happen for you. You just always seem like a rolling a stone. And Sienna's like, ha ha. But, you know, that aside, do my eyes deceive me? Or are you a pregnant? Is that a pregnant belly? Like, Natalie, you're you're so old. Why are you pregnant? She's all like, honey, please don't call me old. And she's all like, okay, honey, but I'm just saying we're old and you're pregnant. She's like, well, some of us have it longer than others. And she's like, okay, girl, if that's what you want to do. She's all like, no way in my golden oldies am I going to be pregnant. That's not, you know, that's not for me. Oh, this is so cute. I was looking for Julian because there were some wedding tasks, such as him flirting with his betrothed that I want to take care of. And he's in one of the rooms with Catalea. That is so cute. She's all like, dad, like, I don't know, this is weird, you getting remarried when you're so much older now, but, you know, I'm happy for you. And he's all like, thanks, Catalea, that means a lot. I know that, you know, your mom and I getting divorced was really rough on you when you were younger, and... You know, sometimes because of that, it's hard to get a, a read on or a beat on your feelings about Sienna. And Kelly is like, well, dad, I mean, she wasn't exactly my favorite person, especially since she, you know, played a part in you and mom breaking up. But I'm an adult now. Like, I'm over that. If Sienna makes you happy, then that's good enough for me. And he's like, well, you know, I'm glad to hear that. I know you know, it's not probably going to be a thing where you and Sienna are ever like best friends or, or whatnot, but I think it's important for you to understand how much I, you know, I've always really loved Sienna and, you know, I'll always have love for your mother, but I think at the end of the day, it just so happened that Sienna was always my soulmate. So she's like, I understand that, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't, but I'm an adult now, so I get it now. So the two of them are just so cute. I love them. I, like, I love to see that. I don't know. It's like a full circle moment with Catalia and her dad and her just kind of like forgiving him for essentially breaking up the family. <laughs> but we all know that for Julian, he's been in love with Sienna his entire life. So this is a dream come true for him. And it's important that his baby girl understands where he's coming from and is on board with it. So guests are still arriving to the venue, so I'm actually going to give it a minute. A couple of my hired roles have not shown up at all, and I can't really chance like waiting around for them to show up because I need for there to be food and entertainment when this thing starts. So I'm going into plan B mode with that. I used my handy dandy control any sim mod and just recruited the help of a local and just maxed out her cooking skill. <laughs> So she can make her food. So she is heading to the kitchen right now to do that. But as you can see, our our man of the moment is here, little Zareen Everberry. I don't even know why I keep on calling him little. We already know little Zari hasn't been a little Zari in quite a while. <laughs> He's a man. But anyway, as you can see, look at him. Look at how handsome he looks. I love that I found this outfit for him to wear for the wedding because it's just perfect. It's like a little yellow golden vest. It just suits him so fine. And again, he's still feeling his oats. Look at him. But he decided to come down and see his mom and whatnot and, you know, see how things are going. He's seeing that she's catching up with her old friend, Malaysia, who, if you guys don't remember Malaysia, Malaysia was one of the other roommates she had when she was in uni. She was actually in that throuple with her and Ricky. Funnily enough, Malaysia and Ricky actually ended up getting married with each other, so that is a thing. But um, since Zari's like coming down and saying that the the wedding is still needing a moment to get ready, he's actually gonna go ahead and head in and check in on check in on Arlene. She is still feeling a little bit sad from her, you know, mom passing. And of course they did have that moment the other night when, um, you know, 
she helped Zari become a man. So <laughs> yeah, someone's to check in with her regarding that because he's all like, you know, I, I want to see where we're at with that. If you know, this is meaning that we're a thing. So he's going to go ahead and, and, and chat with Arlene. As you can see, Arlene is all decked out for the wedding. Hold on, let me get my camera into position so you guys can see her better. But everybody is decked out for those wedding. Look at Arlene. Isn't she so pretty? This is what she's wearing to the main event. Um, the dress code that Sienna set is that she wanted people and like she's wearing red for her wedding dress. So she wanted like colors that complemented it. So I actually set obviously <laughs> the formal outfits for the people we care about. And I didn't for everybody else because I don't care. <laughs> but for the people we care about, I wanted them to have outfits that kind of matched or fit in with the red color scheme. But of course, you know, Zara gets to wear yellow because he's the yellow era. But he's all like, Arlene, you know, how are you? And she's like, I'm good, sorry. And he's all like, oh, I mean, I just wanted to check in because, you know, oh, and he just went, he just went for it. <laughs> and she's all like, Zari, what was that for? Like, what, what are you doing? And he's all like, I mean, I just want you to know how much I missed you, you know, since, you know, we had that time together last night. And she's like, Zari, that wasn't even that long ago. As soon as we did that, we hopped on the plane and now we're seeing each other again. And he's like, I know, but you know, that that's too much time apart for me. And she's all like, you need to cool your jet, sorry. And he's like, well, I mean, I was thinking we were pretty good together. Oh, Arlene. <laughs> she's all like, we were pretty good together last night. I mean, maybe we should kind of, you know, test drive some of that some more. And she's like, Zara, we can't do that right now. It's your mom's wedding. It's going to be starting really soon. And he's all like, yeah, my mom's wedding. She's not going to miss us. She's getting married. She's focused on that. And she's like, Zari, she is going to miss you. She's getting married. You're her future husband's best man. You're her son. She's going to want you there. What are you talking about? And he's all like, I know, but you know, she's not going to be that focused on the two of us if we're just a little bit late. And she's all like, Zara, your mom's going to notice if we're not at the ceremony. You're supposed to be in the ceremony. She's going to notice that. Like, you just need to cool it a little bit. And, you know, you and I could chat some more about what happened between us a little bit later. Just, you know, calm down. We'll be all right. He's like, okay, well, just know, you know, through the ceremony and all that, I'm going to be thinking about you. And she's like, okay, sorry, you know. Just, just cool it. So we're just about getting ready to finally start the ceremony. I feel like I've been waiting forever and a year to get seeing him married it just feels like it's been a long time coming but we're finally finally gonna do this and with this is honestly gonna be the final period on Rose Jen. after this you know the baton will be firmly passed on to Zareen and Sienna will be just enjoying out the rest of her life till she passes which is kind of really sad because you all know how much I love Sienna she's been such a blast to follow with but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut to some pose scenes for the wedding and then you guys are gonna see her and Julian get married and then afterwards we're gonna do some family shots so you're probably gonna see that in the little montage that's gonna fall after this but it's happening, you guys. We're doing the wedding. I'm just so excited. Settling in, settling down. down, down, down. Falling in love, not falling out. I keep on falling in. Each of us both done in the crown. Beautiful 
signs of our story so far mm, So far yeah. Both called it from the beginning We called it, we called it We knew that there had to be us We knew that there had to be Play out the same, the same, the same. We're gonna play out the same. I love you better today than yesterday. And every day, it's gonna play out the same. It's gonna play out the same. La 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 that was a whole lot of work getting it to stage the way I wanted it to. I'm so, so glad that I put the work in to have it happen the way I wanted it to because it told the story I wanted to tell. I had to use poses to get it to look the way I wanted because obviously I don't have my wedding stories. And uh, even if I did, y'all already know that buggy mess would not have looked like that anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this was the way to go, and I think it worked out perfectly. But as you can see, little Zareen here sat down in the pews, and he only had eyes for Arlene throughout the entire ceremony. Sure, he watched his mother walk down the aisle and exchange vows with Julian Tinker, but, you know, he's, he's got his mind on Arlene. And honestly, as soon as that wedding ceremony ended, I got two notifications, and I literally wanted to scream. <laughs> so, apparently... Little Zari here has crabs, and apparently Arlene has crabs now too. So at first I was mad because I'm like, oh my gosh, did Arlene give Zari crabs? But no. The fact that they both got crabs tells me one very important thing, and that's the fact that you really should not be doing the woohoo in a old bread and breakfast uh, bed because clearly whoever was sleeping in that bed before y'all has something going on down in the nether regions, and now both of y'all have it. So, I mean, it's kind of annoying because now they both have crabs and they're probably going to be tense throughout the rest of this wedding, but uh, you know what? I'll deal with getting them cleaned up later you know we don't have time for this this is sienna's last hurrah so we're gonna have her have her last hurrah and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to wrangle zari together to help the caterer put the hors d'oeuvres out because the cake's already out she finished the caviar and i think right now she is making the filet mignon so they are about to eat and then after that they're gonna get the dance on and i'm so so excited so we're just gonna do that so Miss Sienna and Julian Tinker are officially wed, and you guys, the ceremony was just beautiful. I know I already said that, but I just have to reiterate. Honestly, if the only thing I would have changed if I could do it again is I would have put twice as many benches in because I don't know what I was thinking when I set up the matrimonial area. I think I thought that there was only going to be like 10 people invited because most of Sienna's like family and friends are dying <laughs> but she ended up inviting like nearly 50 people so we didn't have enough people room for people to sit so unfortunately not everybody did but hey i'll take it over Bruh. i know that she didn't i know that they didn't i know that they didn't just swipe sienna and julian's food uh-uh they're the bride and the grooms honey no honey honey I'm gonna need you to drop it. So sorry about that. I was not about to have a bunch of people steal Sienna and Julian's food, you know, the day of their wedding. Let them have their filet mignon with a little scallop on top. Don't take that from them. That's expensive. It happened again. What? Bruh. No. Malachi, get your own damn food. I'm telling you, the way that everyone keeps wanting to steal their filet mignon from them, they do. But <laughs> I'm gonna let them eat. Uh... Our DJ did not show up, so I just went ahead and had the caterer go ahead and, you know, DJ the wedding because, you know, she's already on the clock anyway. But I'm also going to go ahead and manage the needs of some of these guests because some of them just had bad bladder failure and I just don't want smelly people at our wedding today, so we're not doing that. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're going to we're gonna peruse the party. So Julian and Sienna are done eating their first meal together so they're gonna go over and cut the cake which it looks like they already did so Julian go ahead and what are you doing 
Celebrate? Okay. Um, yeah, you can stop doing that. Can can you feed or can, can y'all feed each other cake? Can can we do that interaction? Because I swear the way that that never works. Is he going to try? Oh, he is. He's going to try and do it. Oh my gosh. So the last time we had a not so very wedding was Glade and Nora. And y'all remember that janky ass, <laughs> that janky ass bathroom feed the cake scene. I want it to be cute. So let's hope that it's cute. Let's, let's, let's make sure the seed's cute. <laughs> Go ahead, Jillian. Feed some cake to your new wife. I cannot believe it. Okay, let's get a good angle here because I want the shot to like look cute. Which means like it's gotta have like the right people in it. <laughs> and and not the wrong people. Oh I love them. Oh my gosh. This is just like I don't know what it is. I think it's just because of, you know, how long the two of them have just kind of waited for each other. You know what I mean? He's all like, finally, after all this time, Sienna, I get to call you my wife and, and feed you this cake at our wedding and you know it just feels amazing and see those are like Julian oh my gosh like don't don't be like that you're gonna make me cry <laughs> oh, I love them oh you guys don't understand I was not ready for this wedding because this wedding meant that not only that Sienna's saga was just over- Well, I mean, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I was not ready for this wedding because the wedding would mean that Sienna has finally gotten everything that she wanted and her saga is over and I'm just not ready to leave our girl. I know it's time, but it's just- You don't understand. We spent so long with her since she was in the womb pretty much and now she's- now, now she's 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 all grown up. I mean, she's been all grown up for a while, but she's all old. <laughs> oh, and now Sienna and Julian have officially exchanged bites of their cake together, which ended up being a way cuter picture than the one that Glade and Nora had. Uh, thank goodness. But <laughs> he's like, you know, Sienna, I know we don't have that many days left, but I'm glad that I get to spend the days that we have left with each other. That's all I've ever wanted. And honestly, just being able to have this moment is worth a lifetime to me. And it's just it's so sweet. It seems like, oh my gosh, Julian, you know, I've always loved you. And it just it feels like the best ending to what we do have left, that we do get to officially have it together as husband and wife. So, you know, I love you. So I'm going to try and get them to kiss. They Like, Julian's got cake in his his, his hand, but afterwards we're going to go ahead and have them head on over to the dance floor. No, uh, Sienna, kiss your husband. The, like, <laughs> like, really don't test my patience here. Just go ahead and, and kiss your husband and, and then go out into the dance floor and then y'all can boogie woogie woogie. So Julian's all like, Sina, I love you so much. Would you do me the honor of, you know, having our first dance, you know, before we end the night in the bedroom, because that's where I want to go. Like, no, Sienna, this is not the moment for that. Let Julian ask you to dance, honey. Like, not this. <laughs> hey, you're really going to scare your husband? She's all like, I'm just, I'm just teasing. He's like, see, you're so funny, but would, would you want to have our first dance? And she's like, of course, honey. So they are dancing their first dance. Look at them, y'all. This is like a throwback to prom when they danced at prom. This is a throwback to sin sessions when they danced at sin sessions. Yeah. <laughs> but they are just so sweet. I love them the bits. Julian and Sienna are my OTP of all time. I love that. But they are so sweet. I'm gonna have everybody else join them on the dance floor soon, but we're gonna actually hop on over and see what's going on with, with, with Julian a bit. Or actually, with Zari, that's what I meant. Oh shoot, I forgot that Robin's a vegetarian. Well, honey, nobody told you to eat the filet. I mean, I did technically tell him to eat the filet mignon, and we really didn't have any vegetarian options because I forgot Robin was a vegetarian. But hey, Robin. I don't know what else to tell you. I I want to say I'm sorry, but at the same time, I literally forgot. I'm sorry, Robin. <laughs> so the very first thing that Zari decides to do when he gets a chance is to go ahead and kiss Arlene again because his ass is completely smitten. 
And she's like, Zari, oh my gosh, like, we can't do this here. Your, your mom's wedding. And Zari's all like, relax, Arlene. She's already married. She's not paying attention to this. She's like, your mom, is it, it's your mom's wedding. We can't do this here. What if she sees us? And Zari's all like, she's not even paying attention to us. She's already married. She's lost in Julie and Tinkerland. And that's where she's going to stay for the rest of the night. She's, she's just going to be lost in her husband. And he's all like, so, you know, while they're doing that, I figured we could get lost in each other. And she's like, sorry, you're too much. And he's all like, well, am I too much enough for you to, I don't know, you know, join me on the dance floor? And she's like, oh, my gosh. And he's all kissing up on her neck. And she's like, I guess so. He's like, okay, well, you know, follow me there. So we're going to have Arlene and Zari come to the dance floor. And I think in Zari's mind, he's thinking, well, even though my mom and Julian are on the dance floor, you know, they're probably just going to think that I'm being nice and just dancing with Arlene because, you know, it's a wedding. So I'm not even concerned about what they might think of that. So he's like, you know, let's go, let's go get, let's go dance. And she's like, okay, I guess so. Because at the, at the end of the day, I think what, as far as it's concerned with Arlene, Arlene, are you coming? Arlene. Because Zari's already over there. Sweetheart. <laughs> Let's reset her and get her to come over here. But yeah, I think as far as Arlene's concerned, you know, she's still she's still mourning her mother, right? So Zari's been like a really great distraction. Like she's like, look, while Zari and I are kind of being flirty with each other, it takes my mind off for the fact that my mom's not here anymore and I don't miss her as much. And it does help having somebody who's just like all over me, paying me that type of attention to feel a little bit better about it. But honestly, you guys, I don't think that Arlene is thinking about this whole thing the same way Zari is. So remember I mentioned earlier that Zari essentially is very family oriented. So when it comes to being with somebody, He's always going to be thinking of it from like the long term extent of it. Like, hey, let's, you know, be in a relationship. Let's plan on having a family together. Let's plan on, you know, us moving in and, and like buying a house together. Like he's there. He's like, let's have 3.5 kids and drive around a caravan type of place when it comes to like being with somebody because that's what he wished he would have had when he was a kid. But I don't, I think, I think he's up for a rude awakening because I don't think that that's where Arlene's at at all. But, you know, it is a wedding. So we're going to let Zari have his little fantasy land with Arlene here, dancing with her. But, you know, let's be honest. I mean, it's probably just because Zari's so attractive, but they don't make a bad looking couple, despite the fact that their whole being together is all types of, you know, weird. But, you know, Zari's here for it. He's here for it. So we're going to go ahead and let him have his fantasy here. <laughs> Look at Julia and Sienna getting their absolute dance on. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Rose wedding went way better than mint wedding. I still have like, oh, look at Robin go. Look at him. <laughs> I still have like war flash flashbacks to mint gen wedding and how much of a disaster it was on all the stuff that did not work out. But you know what though? Despite the fact that everybody in this entire wedding keeps on having moments like this, and be stinking and smelling and all this other weird stuff it actually went quite well i don't know where half our guests went though did everyone just go to sleep i don't know who cares there's enough people on the dance floor for it to still be a party though so you know they're dancing and you know while they were slow dancing zari said to to arlene he's like hey after things kind of wrap up here as far as like the group dance because he's getting his boogie woogie woogie on he's like you want to head back to the bedroom and have like a part two of what we did yesterday and she's like okay sorry sure i kind of really don't want to sleep alone tonight because like i said arlene's still going through it so having somebody to sleep next to i think is helpful even if that also means that they're going to be doing woohoo stuff on top of that but you know she's like sure sorry let's you know we can but Zari got his entire life, his mother is married, and 
that was Rose Wedding, you guys. What did you think of it? Was it what you were expecting? And do you guys think it was a mistake for me to, you know, not use the My Wedding Stories pack? The only correct answer is, of course not. That pack is buggy. <laughs> I think all things considered this went very very well and I'm very pleased with how it turned out you know wishful thinking into the void here that maybe eventually one day my wedding stories won't be a complete buggy mess and we could try that out with our wedding and have them be cute but until next time guys stay safe stay healthy and of course stay dazzled I will see you in the next one bye